Hello again, thanks for choosing us. The National Steering Committee of the New Patriotic Party has instructed General Secretary of the Governing Party to issue a letter to the Trade and Industry Ministry uh, or Minister Alan Chermantin to rein in his supporters. A group of party foot soldiers last weekend staged a health walk dubbed a Druoso in a bid to endorse the government appointee to run the presidential race. Martin is coming like yeah. articulator track. Oh, yeah. How can any human being stand the way of an articulator track? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't stand well, ever bow, ever bow, ever sit down, ever bow, what it do? What is it? 2008, we were boys. Now boys are men. And today, what say you be? Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to be breaking eight, no. We have to be breaking eight, no. We have to be breaking eight, no. No one is perfect. Baby, I just want to be a more fan chair. No more the person of Alan Chamati. The Kufu like person. What is here? No more say Kufu government. No, baby, I will say. Now Alan has proved beyond any doubt that he cannot rule this country. So it's a stand. Let's give him a chance for him to give deliver what he has for this country. If a man keeps telling you he has something to give you, give him a chance for him to also contribute. Since um, 2007. As you know, he's been trying to be president. He hasn't succeeded. So I mean, I think now that the big men who were in front of him have had the chance, we ought to also give him a chance. I have faith in him. He understands the economy. He can deliver. You know, the National Steering Committee of the NPP says it has noted the worrying trend of active campaigns for persons seeking to run for office, adding that some drastic steps will be taken. For now, Two party stalwarts, the Tafo Pankono MP Vincent Ekoasefua and Hope Sinadoye, have both been referred to the party's National Complaints Committee. In the meantime, we're learning a meeting will be scheduled among persons seeking to contest the presidential primaries of the NPP. We'll speak shortly uh, to the party leadership on the way forward. Uh, but first, my colleague Greg Santi joins me uh, via Zoom with details of a statement issued by the party. First, uh, Kweku, tell us. What are the comments made by Tafo uh, Pankrano MP Vincent Ekwasefwa that has landed him into trouble? So, with respect to Honorable Vincent Ekwasefwa, he spoke to Kumasi on your party where he said that the new patriotic party do need the chance to Vice President Dr. to lead it going into the 2024 election because, according to him, Dr. Mahmoud Bamir had done a lot for the party, had done a lot in terms of the 2012 election petition in particular, and had served as the inspiration for the youth and should be given the opportunity to lead the party. He went on to say that when it came to his constituency, the Tafu Pankrono, he used the term, he said, no bagawaya and that it's Dr. Bamir or no one else. Mm. What about Hope Sinado? Eh? What exactly did he say? So in that instance, you played of that walk that was organized by some pro-Alan Chemantin group in the Ashanti region a few weeks back. Um, Hope Sinadoye mounted a platform and said that given the faction that exists within the NBP, the Buzia, the Danko, and the Dombo, it is time for Alan Chemantin, who he said belonged to the Buzia faction of the New Patriotic Party, to be the leader of the party. And when it comes to the Dombo faction, which is said to be represented now, my Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, they will definitely get a spot because Alan Chamatin will pick a person from the Northern region or a Muslim to pair for the 2024 elections. And these comments have put him in trouble now. The party said to refer him to the committee. And the party has a raft of measures uh, to deal with this issue rather than bias. So the party says that these comments that I've just told you about breach the party's code of conduct that is set out ahead of that flag bearer, flag bearership race. It says that subsequently, the steering committee has resolved that Honorable Vincent Ekoasafo and Mr. Obsinado have been invited to appear before the National Complaints Committee as provided for in the party's code of conduct. Additionally, under the instructions of the National Steering Committee, Mr. Alan Tremate has been written to in respect of the Drew so Health Work, which was organized in his name. And the party is saying that it is going to invite all persons that have indicated their interest to run for the party's pre presidential primary Primaries. so that they can meet 
and agree on the modalities ahead of the election. Ugu, thank you very much. Meanwhile, organizers of the Idru Oso Walk in the Ashanti region uh, that has drawn the anger of the party say they are not perturbed about the criticism they are faced with. According to a leading member of the group, Emmanuel Osejinfi, it is rather the supporters of the vice president, Dr. Balmia, who are flouting the rules set by the party. Matter of fact, if you want those who are trying to make things difficult for the ruling NPP, it is rather those from the other side. And there are lots of evidence to that effect. <laughs> you are in this country and you know the number of high-profile individuals, ministers, national executive committee members. Then let's can go on. Matthew Opoku, Prime Minister of Energy, we all saw him on, on Peace FM uh, making declarations publicly for and in support of the Vice President. Honorable Sayo, the Education Minister, is doing the same. Aziz Harun Afuta, the shocking of all, National Nasawa Coordinator, who sits at national executive meetings, knows what is going there. He was there because he was a former uh, executive member of the National Executive Committee on 27 July 2021, when uh, the former General Secretary John Boyd issued a statement. He was in that meeting. So he was privy to that directive. Yet he could stand on a national platform and make a public declaration that the incoming president after Nanado is a Muslim. Not him alone. Uh, Honorable uh, Ayu uh, of Asoko, uh, if you just say Asokore, uh, uh, how do you call it? Um, Nana Obi Bwahin, former Deputy Secretary Freddie Blay, former National Chairman, Ken Oforiata, Finance Minister, Fusen Norudin, Northeast uh, Regional Chairman, Anodon Pre, Atachia, Samuel Atachia, uh, Musa Superior, Nana B, Henry Nana Bwache, National, another National Organizer uh, mentioned here. So, uh, sincerely speaking, which of these two sides is trying to make things difficult for the, for the party? In 2021, right after 2020 elections, they started this campaign. And you are in this country, you heard everything loud and clear. So if you want to know anybody or the one who is making things difficult for this party, it is them. And I was shocked upon seeing the release. I was shocked. I was super shocked. Well, the Minister of Trade and Industry has been speaking to the event of last weekend, stating that he has worked tirelessly for the peace of the NPP as well as its unity. Let me bring you an excerpt of that statement released in the last hour. Uh, it says, my attention has been drawn to disturbing headlines and discussions in the media in respect of comments made by Mr. Hobson Adoya after a peaceful health walk organized by individuals from all walks of life, in particular sympathizers of our great party NPP in the city of Kumasi on 13th August 2022. I understand with great concern that the unintended consequences of these comments have generated strong reactions from different sections of the Ghanaian public with the potential of creating divisions within the rank and file of our party at a crucial time in its history. It continues by saying that the new patriotic party has always stood for unity, peace and progress for every Ghanaian. Without a doubt, these are, very, these are the very same virtues that have worked tirelessly to uphold in many years of service to Ghana and to the NPP. It is a fact that the peaceful health walk was independently organized and joined by thousands of well-meaning Ghanaian citizens across Kumasi to express their passion for the NPP, in addition to their genuine support for what I have come to represent in the party through years of dedicated service. Much as I do appreciate this show of support, I would like to strongly caution against any acts or omissions of individuals or groups of individuals that may disturb the peace and harmony in our party. It's important that we all fight for what seems to be emerging as a dangerous trend in our party, in our body politics in Ghana, of using misinformation, propaganda, and instigating this unity along ethnic, religious, and political lines. I passionately believe that it is impossible or inappropriate to diminish or distort the fundamental contributions and stature of any of the founding fathers of the NPP tradition and I encourage party faithfuls to focus on the indisputable fact. Indeed, it is the dedicated service of all the celebrated as well as unsung heroes of the great party that has and continue to give life to the NPP till this day. Thank <laughs> you.